It's departure time in Laredo, and I'm preparing the warrior. Something that I use to survive in uncomfortable traffic situations and other stresses that you encounter when you travel by bicycle, adventure style, into spaces that you've never been before. This habit of mine from racing before I became an adventure cyclist to keep the nerves down has been very useful for me as an adventure cyclist. I'm going into the unknown from the perspective of my experience and it's intimidating. I'm on my way to the bridge in the Rio Grande, a beautiful river that I'll celebrate encountering as I make my way into the next chapter of Climate Zero. A well, nice way to get started here in Laredo, coming out of the Days Inn. Got a bikeway here parallel to the secondary road, the bigger roads are farther to my left. Approaching Bridge One, the primary exit entrance point to Mexico in this vicinity. Begin the journey. The border just over my left shoulder. I'm gonna climb up onto this wall. This is what a feral bike rider can do when he's not in the Podunk countryside <laughs> to get a better view. I can see the walking bridge. I can see the guard shacks. Quite a bit of infrastructure here. On the other side, it's clearly my next rendezvous. Here we come, Mexico. surprised could not have been smoother coming through very kind gentleman the third one that I arrived to man he had a solid weapon I almost jumped a little bit because I didn't see him he was so close to me but no harm came of me of course he's just guarding the border so here I am on the first intersection and there I was a moment ago so far only kindness how about that huh not surprised. View from this bridge, but I don't want to hang out too long here. People are already maybe taking notice of the fair skinned white dude standing on the bridge. Just clear of the town of Laredo on the Mexican side, and so far quite impressed honestly. Now I'm headed essentially west at the moment, soon to turn south on Route 1. To avoid the main highway, the toll road, going into Monterey. So I'll stay out in the 
Podunk countryside if possible. Can finally get rough, but fortunately not for too long. We'll see what's ahead. Exiting Anwak, where I dropped in for some local food made by a street vendor. I'm now in a space where I have to take care of fresh food, fruit and veg, which I enjoy so much. So it'll be difficult. I'm gonna guess that was friendly. <laughs> chickens aren't up yet. Mm -hmm.